Robo Papa. Hey YouTubers, Robo Papa here. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use a seven segment LED uh, with using the Arduino, uh, but also how to use it with the new IDE of Wizuino, which is very simple and uh, straightforward. Also, want to point it out that in case you missed my first video on Wizuino and how to use a Blink LED and uh, running a servo, please check out uh, this video over here. You can find it on my homepage or on my YouTube channel. So let's get started. Uh, the seven segment LED is basically just seven LEDs that running in uh, basically a number and you can turn on and off uh, different segments that way you can generate uh, really up to 16 characters with uh, the number 0 to 9 and then A to um, F um, as the letters. Um, there are two different kinds um, that I at least I'm aware of of seven segment there are the common anode and a common uh, cathode and depending on which one you have you might want to actually send a high voltage as the common and then to turn on an led you will want to actually connect it to a ground that's for the common anode if you have the common cathode you want actually to send the ground as the common and then to turn on led you're passing in like a voltage and just like with every LED, you should use a resistor, that way you can limit the, the current to it. Uh, you should check out the data file, the data sheet for um, your seven segment um, to know how much uh, current the segment can take. So let's start with uh, basically the Arduino code um, that I generated. And I'm connecting my pins to pin two to eight on the Arduino Uno and I'll show you um, later on um, how it actually works. So I defining over here the pins uh, two to eight and I'm basically on the setup, setting them out to uh, output and I generated a function which I'll um, touch in a minute where it can turn um, certain segments on the um, display itself. Um, I'm just having a value over here that will basically rotate from zero to um, to nine and when it passes nine it will go back to zero and then on the loop depending on the value i'm basically turning a certain value uh, in this case uh, the zero is actually going to display nothing therefore it's all the false and then with one there's uh, two segments um, that we'll need to turn on and etc until nine which really will have most of the segments except uh, one over here um, number eight is actually, if you think about it, has all seven segments because it's kind of like a rectangle with a line in the middle. And those are the seven segments. Uh, so pretty straightforward over here. Um, I reversed the, the values. Uh, when it's false, it's actually supposed to be true, but it makes more sense to, when you want to turn off something, it will be actually false. And then the turn function actually takes care of it. So if you look at the function, it's Basically, the A to G, those are the segments, uh, usually, that being displayed on the data sheet. And whatever you send here, I'm actually reversing it. So when we're sending false, I'm passing it true. And the reason is that the seven segment that I'm using is the MAN71A, and it's the common anode, which means that I need to connect the segment to ground, and therefore I need to actually pass a low um, into the segment itself. So, uh, sorry, let, let's uh, send a high into the segment itself. That's why when um, it's really false, I want to send a uh, high, that way it's actually turned off. And then when it's high, which is true, I want actually to send false, that way you will actually connect to ground and therefore turned on. So it's a very simple, um, you know, program that will go and iterate through the zero to nine. Um, and you can see the code over here that I wrote uh, around 76 lines. Um, so pretty straightforward. If we'll use the same thing with the uh, Visuino, uh, so we can take a look over here. This is your Visuino um, IDE. Here's the Andrina Uno. And all I did is I just dragged a display, seven segment display over here. And then I connected A to G to pin two to eight. And that's it. 
And from here, you're just generating the code um, and you'll just customize a little bit of what you need to write. And this is how it looks like. Um, the Visuino itself will actually generate most of the code over here. Um, all the definitions and connecting the pins and etc. Um, the invert segment, which we can see it over here. It's basically if you have the common anode, uh, you want to have the inverse. If you have the common cathode, you probably want to have without it. Um, and then you can actually uh, pass also a default value, which initial value for me over here, I set it up to zero. And once again, here's the value, which now I'm just iterating all the way to 15. And I'm just setting up that segment I'm re is receiving that value, which will be zero to 15. And then it will generate the, the, right, the right value, like I said, from zero to nine, and then A to F um, strings. Um, so that's basically the code, and you can see that very easily from, you know, me need to write uh, around 70 lines. All I needed to worry about is this little function over here, which is kind of like, you know, 10 lines of code. Um, so it's very nice and very easy and straightforward. So let's go into the breadboard and I can show you how it works and where everything is connected. Okay, so before I actually move to the board and show you how I connected all the pins, etc., I wanted to show you the seven segment uh, display. Um, so over here, this is the, like I said, the MAN71A, and you can see the seven segments over here very clearly. Um, we're starting with A, and then goes to B, C, D, E, F, and G. And you should look at the schematics for your own display to see where actually each um, each LED and what number or letter it's actually belong to. And you can see from here that we have different uh, pins. So you have the, the three pins over here and then the two. And then on the reverse side you have the two and the four. And it really depends once again on the, um, the display itself um, how the pins are actually connected. So it doesn't mean that like this pin will be A and then B and C etc. But um, it's actually shifting and once again, like I said, just look at the schematics um, themselves. Um, I also wanted to, to touch and show you kind of like on a, on a piece of paper what actually the going on over here in the, um, in the display. So if we assume that um, we have the common anode, um, so if you think about it, it's going to be like a line like this where with a common anode, you're connecting it to, um, let's say, 5 volts. And then you will have your displays or your, um, your bars. So let's assume this is A and B, C and D. They actually will be connected to a, a diode, um, each one of them. Then you ideally you want to connect each one of these to a resistor. That way you're not actually burning the, the LED. And then when you want to turn this one on, then you will connect this one to ground. Right? And then if you don't want to turn it on, let's say for this one, then you might connect it, you know, to uh to five volts. And because of the diode, then you will not have current going actually in. So it will not be turned on. Um and if it's the, the common cathode, you actually will, the common itself, you will connect it to ground and then to turn this one on, you will pass in um, the 5 volts through. That way you can actually get um, the, the current going in and then turning on the light. So that's basically like the difference between the, the common cathode and the common, uh, common anode. Um, and you should, once again, read the documentations for it and it will explain there. But in a high level, this is basically what's going on in here um, with a common. So let's uh, move to the board and uh, show you how um, I connected everything. So over here I have the, the Adreno that is also with uh, a shield, uh, a prototype shield. Um, 
here's the, the pin 2 all the way to 8 and then the, the 5 volt and the ground I'm connecting already the, um, the 5 volt to a resistor over here um, so that's already limiting my current um, this is just like a, a bridge um, that you can turn on and off even but it, all of them are actually turned on and then I just connected to the right pins depending on like I said I have the common um, anode over here which are connected all the way down to here um, and then I have the LCD over here so the right pins are connected to um, the right pins um, with the Adreno so let me um, run this connected I already have the sketch um, uploaded and this is using the Visuino um, code so we should see The resistor actually came out. There we go. And then it's changing actually the character every half a second. That's why it's moving so fast. But you can see it, it goes from zero all the way to nine. And then it's got A, B, C, D, E, and F. And it will continue like that. So there you have it. Um, this is the seven segment uh, display using an Arduino and uh, Visuino as IDE. Um, if you have any comments or questions, uh, please leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.